What you need to hear and what needs to be said doesn't need to be cheapened with heavy-handed words and political jargon. Simply put, this isn't fair to athletes or to any student. You all have missed out on memories you can never get back. But it is what it is, and you all have handled it with the utmost class. With all the sincerity of my heart, we have hurt with you, and we understand that what you have went through is something not many of us can truly relate to. Like many coaches and teachers, I have enjoyed watching you make those memories, the same way I enjoy seeing my own sons make theirs. I promise you we would give absolutely anything to see all of you all walk in the halls at Franklin High School on your way to class and spending those late nights watching you play the sports you love and enjoying those senior year activities. Thank you for the memories and for the amazing young men and women you have chosen to be. To the class of 2020, you hold a very special place in our hearts. For myself and on behalf of the FHS teachers, staff, and administration, thank you for allowing us to be a small part of your lives. Class of 2020, we love you, we care about you, we miss you, and we hope to see you real soon. And now, here's a word from some of your favorite people, your FHS coaches. Seniors, what a crazy time we have been through in the past two plus months. As a coach, teacher, and parent, I wish I could have done something to make the situation better. Tough when you've come into a world around the time of 9-11, and now you're leaving high school at a tough time when you're not really sure about what's happening. It's unfair to you, the graduating seniors, who are robbed of a special time in your life beyond your control. Now, thrust into this next phase of your life, when you get up from this, make the most of your choices. You'll measure yourself by what you do next. I just wanted to make sure that all you athletes know how much you're appreciated and, and missed, especially this sports season. Thank you for your effort, uh, the time you put in, the uh, commitment, the focus. What's gone on and happened isn't fair. Um, a lot of times in life you're going to run into things that aren't fair, but you guys have a great camaraderie amongst you and y'all are going to go out into the world and do wonderful things. Um, I hate it's come the way it has. Uh, it's, it's very unfortunate, but just remember that throughout life things don't always go as you planned, but you just kind of play the cards you're dealt and make the best of it. The only advice I could give you is, is that I am a firm believer that everything happens for a reason and that the good Lord has a plan for you. And one day uh, you will know why you had to go through this. We hate that this had to happen this way, um, but it did. And we know that everything has a reason. If I had one bit of advice to everybody is don't blink because your life's gonna go by really fast. I encourage you to follow your passions. Do what uh, you desire and uh, make a commitment. Persevere through these uh, tough times and through the challenges that lie ahead. Be bold, um, be courageous, and do what you want to do in life. What makes you happy? Um, being yourself and um, following a dream that you set set out to endure, um, whatever that may be. I really enjoyed watching y'all uh, progress. Most of you never touched a racket until you got to high school. And I just want to let you know, I felt like this year you had the skill level uh, that you had a legitimate chance to make it into regionals. From all this, maybe we can take that, you know, we don't take things for granted anymore. And we live every day, uh, as the old saying goes, as if it were our last, and stay in the moment and enjoy each thing that's given to us. If there is a silver lining in this situation, I would hope it is that we have all learned not to take what we believe is given for granted. I would like to commend each and every one of you for how you have adjusted and handled these circumstances with grace. So I would challenge all of you to take this difficult time. I understand it is difficult, but look at what kind of opportunities you can take from it. Take that opportunity, see where it takes you in life, do your best, and you'll be fine. Good luck to you as you start the next chapter of your lives. I know that each one of you will be successful in whatever you choose to do. You will be missed, but never forgotten. And to the athletes returning, may you learn from the class of 2020 
and never take anything for granted. Uh, I know this has been a trying semester for all of us, but uh, I know you'll come through it strong. Uh, I want to say thank you to everything that you've done for Franklin High School over the past four years. Uh, and I know your future is going to be bright. I know the year didn't end the way that any of us had hoped, but I'm glad that I've been there over the years to cheer you on, and I wish you all luck in the future. And please come and say goodbye when things open up again. At the end of the day, let's never forget where you came from, the friendships you made, the memories that you made, and the impact that you made on Franklin High School and on your community of Franklin. And I just want to wish you the best of luck. Don't forget where you come from. Mwah! <laughs>